In the following tutorial, we're going to take a look at using the Pathfinder tools in, in Adobe Illustrator CS5. Now, we could use CS4, but it is a slightly different tool. Plus, I'm going to also be showing you how to use the Shape Builder tool so you can make some really fancy things in Illustrator. So let's do File, New. And um, I'm going to use, actually, to start off with, let's use the New Document Profile and use Print. And I am also seeing the Advanced View. And the reason why is because one thing that we want to be aware of is most of the time we want to use RGB color versus CMYK, even though it says it's for print. Um, that's now one of those standards, I think. The other thing is, for this file, we want it to be a horizontal layout. So let's click OK, and you'll see that we have a horizontal layout. Now the tool we're going to be using is the Pathfinder tool, so let's locate that first. Go to the Window menu, go to Pathfinder, and open up that tool. Now mine happens to be with the Transform, Align, and Pathfinder tools together. And these tools you'll probably want available all the time because you'll use them quite a lot. In fact, these are probably the most important tools that you can learn as an illustrator in um, Illustrator itself. So anyway, we're going to be making boxes that represent all the different ones here. So notice we have four here and six. So we need to make a bunch of ones to start. But we're actually going to make even more than those. So let's begin by creating some boxes. And we need them to overlap somewhat. And the next thing that we need to do is change their fill colors. Now you can change their fill colors. Um, once you've created two boxes, go ahead and just use the... Uh, black arrow because that's all we need anymore. You can change the colors just by clicking on different colors in the panel here. As long as the two are separate colors, we need to be able to see that they're different. Now what we're going to do is select both and we're going to duplicate them by holding down the Alt key. Then to make sure that they are aligned, you'll see that I can get the um, green um, auto or whatever that thing is called, auto align feature, or I can hold down the Shift key to make sure that they're duplicated in a straight line. And then I'll let go of the mouse, it'll duplicate it, and now I can do Control D, and that will easily duplicate it again. Now I'm going to select that entire row, duplicate it down with the Alt key, and I'm going to select just two of them and duplicate that out. Now I've got my six. Sorry about that message. Now I'm also going to drag down four more beneath, because I want to see these separately and they're going to be used for another thing that we're going to do. All right, so let's look at the Pathfinder tools. What you want to do is select a group of boxes, two that are touching, and then hit on each shape mode and notice what happens. The first one unites, the second one minuses the front, that next one will do where the two of them are, have overlapped, and this one does exclude. Now what makes what we've just done different than CS4? Well, I'm going to go to the next, I'm going to skip the Pathfinder and go just down to the Shape Mode. And as I hover over one of these, you'll notice that it says Alt-Click to create a compound shape. So if I click on the Alt key before I click, you'll notice that it creates a compound shape. And I have both of my original boxes there, plus if I click off of them, you'll see the resulting shape. Well, this is pretty cool because you can click on it with the white arrow and modify that shape a little bit, refining it before you expand it. To expand it, you need to go back to the black arrow, select both together, because now it selects it as a compound shape, and you can hit on the expand button. And that's what we have up here. So the difference between CS5 and CS4 is that CS5 automatically expands your shapes, and CS4 does not. With CS4, you would want to use the, um, what is it, the Alt key. So go ahead and use the Alt key on the others and see what results. And if you want to adjust them a little bit, do. But don't, don't expand them. Now in this next one here, we're going to be playing with the Pathfinder tools. So we need to um, save your work at this point and go on to the next tutorial.